No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. Now for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, digital marketing online coach. I own a social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands and I also coach you guys how you can do the same. Now before I begin, I just want to give a quick shout out for those of you that have recently enrolled in the Lifestyle Design Coaching Program. Uh, it's been building up a little bit of momentum lately and you know we're getting great results. I feel like now almost everyone that has enrolled has got on at least one client which is absolutely amazing you know the community is great the coaching calls are great and I know that most of you do watch this so shout out to you guys and for those of you that aren't enrolled just yet but are on the verge I highly recommend you do it it's basically an investment in yourself and it will yield you know the biggest results if you are on the fence about it I highly recommend you basically book a free discovery call with either me or someone on my team who can basically just go over a roadmap from where you are now to you know where you want to be and your success and so on and so forth okay so that is all linked in the description box down below but without further ado let's hop into the actual video and it was recently asked to me what I would do if I had to start all over again with social media marketing and it was quite an interesting question because when I started out, I done a lot of things wrong, but obviously I did do a few things right as well because otherwise I wouldn't be here now, you know, making this video. So in terms of what I did was I spent the first few months messing about basically, you know, creating a, a website, which I had no idea on how to do. I uh, literally guys, like I started from zero and I thought, okay, I need a website. So I then started Googling how to build a website and I just completely forgot about the whole like social media marketing thing. I literally spent the first month understanding and learning on how to build a website and then I built a website and then someone mentioned a lead magnet on a video on YouTube and I was immediately convinced that I needed a lead magnet. So then I spent the next month, month number two, building or right now a basically a mini ebook for the, with like the 10 steps that you need for social media marks, anything like that as a lead magnet that people can then um, basically download for free and then they get like emails uh, you know about social media marketing and then like I think the last email was a call to action to schedule a free call with me okay now again the, uh, the month after that I spent trying to figure out how to you know build out an email sequence how to use active campaign how to send out the the, the, the free ebook you know once they download it and so on and so forth and then I ended up spending I think it was 100 euros in one day on a Facebook ad to get people to download the lead magnet and it ended up just being one complete disaster. After the one day, I didn't even look at the data. I just knew, you know, it wasn't worth my time and I basically just failed that whole sort of experiment. And it wasn't until month four, like I started this in, I think it was like the end of August 2000 and. 16 or 17 I'm not even sure it was a few years back and it wasn't until like the January of the following year that I actually started taking action and you know actually started getting my first few clients okay but like I said this is this is not 2016 or 17 we are now in 2020 so this video is going to be how I would go about starting a social media marketing agency in 2020 now, the first thing I would highly recommend you guys not to do is to basically go down the same route as what I, you know, done and build a website, okay? All I would do now will be create a Facebook page, okay? And that is it. To be honest, I wouldn't even create an agency page. I would just create a page as myself and, you know, mention that I basically, you know, do social media marketing for businesses, okay? So the first thing I'll do is create a personal Facebook page. Okay, so you don't need to figure out you know what your agency is going to be called. You don't need to spend you know months on end trying to figure out how to build a website. You don't need a logo. All you need is a personal Facebook page. Okay. The second thing you need to decide on is what you're actually going to offer, okay? Because there's literally 101 things that you can now offer, consultant, Google ads, LinkedIn ads, uh, Bing ads, I don't know, Quora, Pinterest, Facebook, 
uh, Instagram, YouTube, you know, you name it. There's so many different ways of basically selling online services and you basically need to pick, you know, one or two to begin with, okay? So what I would do in my case is I would start with social media management and Facebook ads. With social media management, I basically mean um, you know, posting on the social media platforms of my clients, okay? That could be Facebook or Instagram, and basically what we do is we call that social media management, okay? So the second thing is pick a maximum of two services. Okay, so basically what you're doing is you are niching down what you offer. Niche down your offer. Okay, so you're not a jack of all trades, you're not you know, trying to basically tailor to everyone. Okay, you niche down two offers or two services that you offer to your potential clients or your actual clients, okay? So two things that I would do, social media management and Facebook ads. Why? Because I know how to do it and I'm good at it and I actually enjoy doing it, okay? Now the third thing I would do in terms of outreach is build out a email list, okay? And I know, yeah, a lot of people say, no, we need to have messenger bots, we need to have automatic responders, we need to, you know, send out looms and all that lot. I would just start out with an email list and slowly build it up over time, okay? And yet, you won't have a thousand people on that email list within one day, but if you slowly build it up, add people that, you know, you've networked with or add people that you've had, you know, a quick conversation with, let's say you're in, uh, conversation with a potential client who is doing uh, or has a meal prep company for example then you just add his name or his email to the email list and you slowly build it out over time okay so third thing is build up an email list and yes guys this is in 2020 I'm still preaching the email list because it is a very very powerful tool and it's basically free traffic as soon as you know you build up the email list okay so rather than sending out facebook ads to try and contact these owners again and retarget these owners all you do is send out an email blast to people you've already been in contact with and they get an email in their inbox and it doesn't cost you a penny okay and you can send out as many emails as you want obviously don't bug everyone uh, you know with 10 emails a day but then again you know they would unsubscribe if they aren't interested so you could potentially do it but you know it's basically free traffic as soon as you built up that email list okay and then the next thing i would do is niche down the industry but not necessarily like the niche, okay? And what I mean by that is a lot of people I see online, they'll, they'll say stuff like, okay, I basically generate um, leads for, um, let's say, I don't know, dentists in the UK that offer Invisalign braces or something like that. Like they absolutely drill down into the niche that they want. And yeah, you know, if you do offer a service to that niche, then you know you've, you've automatically uh, like it's easier to obviously create an authority position if you niche down as much as possible however when you're just starting out wouldn't it just be much easier to basically pick a a sort of a larger industry rather than like as a very specific niche and then you know just see which clients or which um you know sub industry or niche actually speaks to you okay a lot of people spend so much time trying to figure out what their niche is but they have no experience with any of the niches and they don't actually know what type of industry or niche they actually like to you know run as for okay so rather than trying to think of what niche or what you know industry you want to uh, promote to or you want to you know offer your services just keep it broad choose for example okay ecom and then e-com in a specific country, e-com in the US, and then just see what type of e-commerce stores you would actually like to run ads to. And you'll notice over time that you will have a favorite or you will figure out you know, what type of clients you want to run ads for and want to actually have as a client. But when you're just starting out, you, know, you don't really know what type of client you actually like working with, so just keep your options open and over time you will niche down, but when starting out, just keep it relatively broad, okay? So, niche down the industry, 
not the niche. Okay, and then lastly, what I would do in terms of the outreach, let me just quickly check how far down I can go without losing uh, the camera. Okay, so around over here. Um, yeah, so in terms of the outreach, I will do the following things. I will do Facebook groups. I will do YouTube, which I'll get into in a moment. And I will do freelancer websites. Okay, and the reason why I've chosen these two is because when you are starting out, chances are that you haven't actually got a budget to run ads, you know, for. So uh, rather than spend the money on ads, money that you haven't really got to spend, I would basically leverage my time. Okay, so if you can't leverage your money, you need to leverage your time. And three ways that I think are very effective are Facebook groups. So you know, replying to people in Facebook groups. Um, you know, basically building up those relationships, freelancer websites, basically, you know, the low hanging fruit, actually getting in contact with business owners that are actually on the lookout for someone to do their social media. And then thirdly, YouTube, which is something that I don't actually hear a lot, you know, uh, in the basically social media marketing industry, is actually building up a YouTube channel that tailors to business to business, okay? So more often than not, I do it, I do it myself, is basically I have a YouTube channel, for B2C, so I show other people how to start their own social media marketing agency. But what you can also do is start a YouTube channel and basically, you know, tailor to business owners. So show a specific industry how to run ads for their industry and then have a call to action saying that if you enjoyed this video and you want me to run ads for you, then schedule a free discovery call, okay? Because it's digital real estate. As soon as you create that video, it's there forever, okay? And then basically, you know, in the background, it will be gathering leads and traffic for you and your services. Okay, and then one last bonus tip in terms of software. This is something that I saw, um, I think I read it actually in an article the other day, is if you are, you know, offering social media marketing and social media advertising, etc., and you use software, actually recommend that software to the clients and then give your affiliate link, okay? So everything you use, whether it's Sapia, Hootsuite, ClickFunnels, Teachable, uh, you know, whatever, offer it and recommend it to the clients with your affiliate link. So you actually earn money off the back end of that client. So let's say that client leaves you three months down the line, but continues to work with ClickFunnels, you still get recurring commission from that client even though you are no longer working together. Okay, so that is all I've got for today. That is how I would start a social media marketing agency in 2020 if I had to start all over again. Now, if you are just starting out and you basically need some guidance and you want my personal help and you want me to basically coach you on a daily basis on how to start and scale your very own social media marketing agency, like I mentioned in the introduction, I do offer coaching. It will all be linked in the description box down below for 12 months, so an entire year of coaching, all you pay is 117 euros a month. So it's literally buttons, all you need to do is land one client, which you will highly, you know, that very likely that you'll actually land that client in the first 30 days and you basically paid for coaching for the next, let's say 10 months, provided that you get that client for a thousand a month, okay? And then from there, you'll notice that it's so much easier because you know exactly what to do and you've got, you know, basically the experience in your corner to back everything up that you do, okay? So anyway, like this video if you got some out of it, comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next video.